Hello, welcome to Good Night Housing with Dan Housing. Today it is Good Night Housing with Veda Housing. How do you do? Well, it's it's honestly it's like one in the afternoon right now. We're doing we're doing this. It's not it's not actually good. It's like good af good afternoon housing. You how dare you? I don't you? do I don't stay up late for any of this. Dan Housing, this way films these in the morning and lies to the audience and says it's good night housing. If you if you could instead of I don't want to... people to think that I do anything late night because it's not my personal thing at all. We do if you want to schedule an interview with me, you do it in the morning to mid afternoon, and that's it. You know what? We're canceling this now. Dan Housing is going to call you at one a.m. Please, my phone will be on do not disturb because I get no phone calls. You call the landline. I don't get any calls. Or... You will have an installationer come install a landline and then disrupt your sleep. Because you have just revealed Dan Housing's greatest, deepest, darkest secret. He films Good Night Housing during the day. Only for me. Like I said, I request that I only do interviews in the morning and mid-afternoon. Well, this is neither here nor there, because Dan Housing would trick people, if he could, maybe he will one day, and have a moon behind him. I think we can do that. Yes, we just get it freaky. Post, we'll do it in post, we'll do it in post. Post edit, we'll put a moon here. Maybe, we'll try. Dan Housing edits his own films, so. Probably won't happen because he does not have a professional skilled fellow to do though. Have you thought about an intern program? Yes, Maybe. Dan Housing has an intern, but he is in the US right now. Dan Housing is currently in Canada. His name is Davis. He's quite a sweet boy. Hi, but Davis. Yes. Hello, Davis, everybody. Everybody loves Davis, except for I Davis. imagine that Davis oh, watches the product, all of it. Nice. Uh, you could do, like, well, you need Canadian interns. They, they, you get, like, a whole fleet of them, honestly. Yeah. Fleet of Peter, we will call them. Yes, very good. Dan Housen loves Davis. He said he did not, but he is joking. He just <laughs> needed to clear that up. That was a hilarious joke. Wow, you got me. You are interrupting Dan Housen's show by making Dan Housen look like a fool. So far, two of them. You have said Dan Housen is not funny and that Dan Housen filmed. No, I said you were very funny. You got me. Also, you are like, okay, so the lean back just a little bit. A little bit. No, forward, forward, a little bit more. But stop. Okay. When Dan Housen in real life melds into Dan Housen in banner life there. There's a, it's a lot. It's tripping me out. So you got me. Well, ah, yes. So Dan you got Housing. Me back. You. Yes. Anyways, Dan Housing, he's uh, been enjoying you on the uh, A&W Arc, dark, dark YouTube channel show. Yes? Yes. Been quite nice. Yes. We have some fan housing questions. They have some questions about that. Is Good. That okay? Are any of them about why I'm a terrible interview? No, I'm answering they all love it right you. now. They all love you. Dan Housing sees all the tweets. They say, uh, he's doing a very nice, very evil job on commentary. So, with that being said, Dan Housen's looking at his notes. This is an iPhone. Do you have one? It's plugged in because I can't let the battery... Get, let's see, we're at 93% and it's plugged in right now. Very good. It will be fully charged by the time this interview is over. Let's see, this one is from Miles Young. Hmm? They say, how is Taz? Taz is awesome. Um, so as you can tell when you're when you're listening and watching Dark, uh, there is a lot of personality there. We've known that uh, in all of his years, just as a wrestler and as an announcer too. Uh, and I was really intimidated uh, to be working with him because there's just he's he's so he's so knowledgeable, not with his wrestling, but like uh, that whole very Taz is the best way to put it. And uh, he's oh, great. Kidding. Yes, yes. He's, I thought you were telling me to wrap it up there. I was going to be mad. No, no, no. <laughs> yes, wrap it up. This is the go-home cue. He, uh, no, he's, the way that he can go between, like, analyzing the, the hand grip that someone's using in a hold to being just generally hilarious in his observations, uh, I just, I think he's great. I think, honestly, I think as an announcer, despite how long he's been doing it, he's completely underappreciated and underrated. I think, I think he's brilliant. Well, he's, he's now in the Hall of Fame. Dan Housen has deemed it true. Wow. Hey, look at that. Dan Housing can do whatever he wants. <laughs> this one is a follow-up question on Taz. <laughs> Ask Veda for Taz's pen. Do you have his pen still? I have it. I've been trying to give it back for like a month now. Uh, 
So here's the true inside story on Taz's pen. Uh, I virtually always have a pen on me. Uh, I happened to not at one moment in time when I needed to like circle something on a sheet. And I said, oh no, does anyone have a pen? And Taz lent me a pen and I have been uh, trying to give it back to him. For it, that's Jeez. not a pen. That's not a pen. Yeah. It's Close. It's a tomato, tomato. It's a crayon. But uh, it's, I, I, maybe I could give him a crayon. I've been, I've been trying and he just told me to just keep the pen. Anyway, and I don't feel good about it. I don't feel good about it. I mailed this to you and you can replace Taz's pen with his crayon. It is Would a- Would he know? Razzmatazz. You'll love it. Look at that. Where's so that? the pen is a red pen with black ink. This is Razzmatazz. I like that. It's much than a red pen. I like that. He may not even know. We could we could just pull one over? I don't know. We'll spoof him real then good. I get, to, I get to keep the pen. Yes. You would lose your Razzmatazz crayon though, which I don't know how I feel it about has, that. He has a plethora of them. Just boxes and boxes. Yes, boxes of Razzmatazz crayons. Do you want our Veda Scott fact? Yes. Where I was born and grew up, the Lehigh Valley in Pennsylvania, is where uh, Vinny and Smith is headquartered, and they are the makers of Crayola crayons. So that Razzmatazz crayon uh, might be from my hometown area. Probably not. It's I mean, it's, it's honestly probably not. <laughs> Went to school with you. That is true. That is true. That was actually my homecoming queen, that Razzmatazz crayon. Razzmatazz crayon. Yeah. So it's good to see her again. Doing well. Very good. So that's what, are, we'll, uh, if the, you know, they were wondering where it went, he's going to be. Uh, um, the are they all Taz questions? That's no, fine. They're they not, should be. They're okay. not all Taz questions. Let's see. Ah, this one's quite nice. It's more wrestling based. If you could face anybody from any time period, who would you fight and for what title? This, they, they did not specify wrestling actually. So you could fight a former president or something. I don't know. Dan Housen doesn't know historical figures. So I, th this is no offense to anyone who asked this question. I hate these questions because like, I am very bad at speaking in absolutes at all and I can never pick and I don't choose ever. Um, so if, even if we narrow it down to wrestling, I don't know, I like just, it, it's bad. And it seems like it's just a, a cop out of an answer and it is. Um, I don't know, cause like there's, there's a million different reasons why I want to wrestle someone all through different eras. Uh, would it would it be like a traditional wrestling match? Am I talking about like, oh, I would really like to do like a, a TLC match with Edge. That's not my answer, but it's an it's an option. That's your answer I now. Don't, I, don't have, uh, I don't have an answer, I'm sorry. No, nope. report to the dirt sheets. Veda Scott wishes for TLC match with Edge. I don't think that's my answer. And why would it just be Edge even? That's not. That's a. This is why I, Dan Alton. This is why it's I don't. The ladder match. In fact, when you tricked me into doing this interview, uh, this is why I don't do them. Yes. Well, now Dan Housen has put you on the spot. That's why Dan Housen gave you an out to say you could wrestle anybody, not wrestling. You said not even wrestling. Well, then you made it worse. You you broadened the category. If you would have narrowed it, you made it worse. You said it could be anyone doing who, anything. Who invented the crayon from your hometown? Well, it's Benny and Smith, so it would have been maybe like a Robert Benny and a Joseph Smith or something like that. You fight them in a TLC match, then. That is Dan Housen's answer for you. Crayon on a pole. No. Yes, crayon on a pole. Maybe crayon on a pole. Damn what about like bags of crayons instead of thumbtacks? That actually might be painful if the crayon lands yes. the wrong way. Pointy. Pointy. Let's see. Well, we will avoid wrestling questions then like that. Does this one count? Dan Housen will read it. If it counts, we'll skip it. Do you have a dream match that you wished you could call? No, for, for commentary, not for wrestling. Oh, for commentary? Oh, um, wait, what's going on? What's happening? <laughs> mess. Um, dream match for commentary. So, okay, I, I don't have a specific dream match. I don't, but I will say this. My, uh, the reason I love doing commentary so much is because my favorite part of wrestling is, is just, putting together matches and telling stories and like interacting with the audience. So in a very selfish way, the reason I like commentary so much is because then I get to do that and help do that for lots of people instead of just my own match. I get to be kind of part of telling the story. So for me, my favorite matches to call uh, are honestly ones that involve people that I know or I'm friends with or who I just know, like know more of their story because it just, it feels really good 
to tell that story. So I don't have a specific dream match, but um, important right. matches for people that are important to me, I, I, that's, that's really big to be part of. Like Danhausen likes to wrestle his friends. Yes. It's much nicer yes. to punch your friends. Exactly, exactly. Because you know, you're probably still gonna be friends afterwards, hey, right? You don't, you don't know. Because you know, you'll be friends still. What is it? I'd say that's my another terrible answer. I am uh, not terrible. Not, not, not doing it. well. So, uh, you could have said, uh, because then you do not get slammed either. You like putting together stories, but you do not get slammed. Well, and the other, yeah, the other thing about commentary is, um, although I love wrestling, uh, it doesn't hurt as much. Yes. Usually, usually. And you had a, uh, what is it? The Stark master himself, Ricky Starks on commentary. I did. I did. There were four of us, which is a lot. Yes. But, but Ricky is a master with words. So, uh, so that was really fun too. And he actually went from, so he did both. He wrestled and then yeah. he walked over to the announce desk and he called the rest of the show. Dan Howes in one time got punched in the head, rolled out of the ring and went and did commentary during his match. I like to do that too because it keeps you from uh, from being in the match. Yes, and then Danhausen waited until the others beat each other up and then slid back in the ring and capitalized on it. Did you win? No. Danhausen got punched in the groin and lost. Actually, it was a good, it was a good plan. As you tried, they said you need you to doing? finesse it in, over time. Just tweak it. Speaking of Ricky Starks, he taught Danhausen how to dance. That's a fun fact. Yeah, see, Dan Housen, he got taught how to do uh, some sort of dance, you know, I don't know, something like that. Let's see. Oh, this is a question about commentary. How comfortable are the headsets? Um, they're comfortable. However, there are some tricks uh, that I have learned over time. Um, so basically, I need to keep my hair back out of the headset. So oh, if hair. someone is helping me with, so because I have hair. Yes. And a lot of people who do commentary have little to no hair. They don't have these issues. These are issues that are specific only to some people. So when I have someone is helping me with my hair and I need all the help I can get, they have to pull my hair back past my ears and flat on the top. Yes. Because that's the other problem. One time, I like, I like to wear my hair with like a little like a bun on the top. You can't do that with the headset. It doesn't fit. It just floats above your, your scalp. Head, I've like done that before. It's not good. No. And then, um, so I have, um, I have abnormally small ears, and you'll never unsee that. They're very small, and they're attached to the top of my head. You look like regular ears. No, they're they're abnormally small, and they're they're attached almost all the way around. So they're, uh, they 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 get smushed in the headsets. So, they, honestly, it's a high liability for me. So but it's I a do it. This job you're doing. I do, and the thing is, with headsets like that, like that—that's high quality broadcasting equipment. I'm, my, a little more, my speed is like the microphone taped to it the desk. There and hello, this is Vita Scott. This match is good. One mi one microphone taped between two people. That's about right. So, so this is like I have to get used to all of this. It's You'll all new. Love each other, if you do that. New. Let's see. We can move on. Wait. Ah, people remember that you're a lawyer, actually. So, let's see. What did you learn from wrestling that is surprisingly come in handy with a lawyer? We'll combine some of these. And do wrestlers ask you to review their contracts? And do you know Lionel Hutz, fellow lawyer? Um, so, I, I do not know Lionel Hutz personally. I don't. I'm very familiar That's with his work, of course. Um, do people ask me to look over documents all the time? Uh, do I do it? Um, no. So legally, I can't. Um, there's a lot of like licensing requirements in terms of like things like that. But I can like you know guide you towards like you should probably hire your own lawyer who is in your hire Dan Housing. You could hire Dan. You're a lawyer. Wow, that Dan is Jimmy is the jack of all trades. That is shocking, but. Is it makes somehow dialing that back a little bit makes sense. Yes. Um, and yes, yeah, so people ask me questions like that all the time. Um, I imagine it's a lot like when someone finds out like you're a personal trainer or whatever, like they, they will ask. I know Dan Hansen is a personal trainer. I assume you were a personal trainer. Yes. That was my assumption. I shouldn't have assumed that. Um, but yeah, so I do get questions like that all the time. Um, what was the other one? What was like, what the crossover between like the law and 
Yes, they uh, said, let's see what it was. Dan Hudson's checking his notes. It was, what did you learn from wrestling that surprisingly has come in handy as a lawyer? Probably hitting people. Um, so I went to law school while I was going to wrestling school. And I think uh, that crossover in terms of like never sleeping and just like constantly having to like retain information and also like not like 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 being able to like mask your crying a little bit like yeah. like finding quiet places for your tears that's really helped me i think in wrestling and that's that's i that i maintain a lot of that that's perfect let's see if there's any more on here i'm just gonna ask you over and over again what your dream match is now because well, i'm thinking about it i'm thinking hard i will have an and answer look at your favorite let's see well there's one that t- asks what your favorite food is, and there's one that asks uh, what the debate is, Wawa versus Sheets, the gas station wars. Right. So I am from Pennsylvania. So yes. I am deep in this Wawa versus Sheets thing because Sheets is more of like a Pittsburghy type of thing, and Wawa is, of course, a, a Philly tradition. Ah. Um, so I have thoughts on both. First of all, a lot of times it will come down to the food for people. However, uh, because I'm a vegetarian, I don't eat a lot of the food that's there. It's less of a factor for me. Um, Sheets, I think food-wise, though, does have like a much larger selection than Wawa, or they used to. Wawa's really up their game recently from what I've seen. Um, however, I mostly go to Wawa or Sheets for the coffee, and Wawa has a much better, much better coffee selection. You think so? Favorite. I believe so. It is much better than Sheets. Dan Hansen has only had Sheets coffee. Dan Hansen is not no. So there, so that, but I, I respect you admitting that you, you can't actually weigh in on this argument. But we'll one, to, Dan Hansen we'll to had Wawa. Caesar wrap from Wawa, and those were pretty good. But then he had another one, and it was pretty bad. So all right, so we're in the middle on Wawa, but Sheets Wawa. coffee is okay. I don't dis, I don't dislike Sheets coffee. Um, I don't at all. But I think. Um, so, for example, I'm about to, I have a show today. I, I know I have to fill up my car. And there is literally a Sheets and a Wawa across the street from each other, oh, both yeah. with gas, both with coffee. I personally will be going to the Wawa because I'm going to get coffee. And Dan has if, leaves. That is the solidified answer. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going with Wawa. Team Wawa. There you have it. Yes. Very can sponsor me. Yes. <laughs> anyway, uh, fan housings work on that. Yit Veda housing sponsored by Wawa to get free coffee. Only coffee, though. That's all I really No need. gasoline. That's fine. No, well, I call it. There we go. Get gasoline, coffee, snacks, whatever. Like a, even like I'll give a small gift card would be nice. Send a thousand dollar gift cards to Veda. Uh, 25 would be fine. $25 is fine. How humble of you. 25. Yeah, just just send me multiple twenty five dollars. Sometimes they do a thing where every size of coffee is only a dollar, so I could I could wait for that. It's quite nice, quite nice deal. Is there anything else that you are excited for coming up in the future besides this show tonight that you have? Are you excited for any uh, dark matches coming? Um, <laughs> I don't know because well, I haven't filmed any well, dark matches. <laughs> No, um, I, I, I should say this. Um, I'm super, like, I'm loving everything that I've gotten to do with AEW. It's a huge opportunity. But um, I should say that I am absolutely 100% still uh, a free agent. Um, not that anyone's going to be watching this that would care about that. But I uh, I take bookings. I'm still an independent wrestler. Um, but, yeah, so I am loving the opportunity when I have them. Uh, but I am I am just a guest. Uh, You're still quite I'm, nice. It's cool. It's really cool. Um, it's been so much fun. I want to um, go there and never leave ever. Um, like, like just claw claw my hands into the desk, maybe, and just just hold the the headset. Just just glue it to my ears. Good. I want that. I want that someday. Keep your legs to the chair, and then you cannot leave. It's in the same arena every time. Yes. Right, and it, like, there's no way that they could get me and the chair out of the building. No, not I'm at sure. all. If you just. Uh... You know, staple yourself down, wrap some tape, uh, hammer some nails into the chair on the floor. They cannot make you leave. And then they must pay you for 24 hours a day. I would just call what I see all the time. Yes. Like what happens in front of my eyes. Talk to yourself. Now, I imagine that there's like several, you know, during the average week, there's probably nothing going on there. But I could just, there's birds. 
Um, it's quite nice. It rains quite a lot. I could talk about the storms. Do they have to replace the ring every single time it rains? Just like replace it entirely? Yes, because it just comes down all over it, yes? And it, it shrinks. Things shrink in the rain. The right. ring will just get smaller and smaller. This is science. But um, but yeah, no, I uh, even before I was doing any work with AEW, um, I loved Dark and I watch it every single week. It's probably my favorite, um, favorite wrestling programming on on a weekly basis because it's such a cool mix of people that maybe you've never heard of but are awesome and then other people that you've heard of before but you get to see them in new and different matches um it's a really fun and loose and light kind of wrestling and i think wrestling should be fun yes. um but I, I so i i'm a fan of dark and i watch dark regardless of if i'm uh on it or not well yes because dan Housen gets to see lots of his friends Yes. Uh, AW Dark. Weekly. They're just always there. In it's and free. Out. It's and on it's free. It's on YouTube. It's yes, free. Danhausen does not have cable, so he can watch this show. For free. For free. The Every cost of zero Wawa coffee. Tuesday night? Tuesday night. Tuesday night, yes. night. Tuesday night at seven PM Eastern. Yes. Very good. Do you have anything else you would like to plug? Perhaps some merch. Uh, I have merchandise. Um, so my Twitter is at it's Veda time. I'm sure you will tag me sometime. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, so my Twitter is there at it's Veda time and there I have, um, uh, my big cartel store is there. Uh, I do cameos, which, uh, side note, Dan Housen is who encouraged me to do them. Um, so you can, uh, these wonderful, uh, rambling interviews that I do, you could, perhaps buy one for yourself and yes. I'll talk for a while about nothing um which is good for everyone uh but yeah that's about yes. it I mean yes. I don't have a huge online presence because I'm bad at it yes, I'm, trying, that's true. <laughs> I'm trying to get better you're doing quite nice at it go buy a cameo from Veda Housing right now make her give herself compliments about her twitch app be quite nice I have 69,000 followers as of today which is an accomplishment. That's quite nice. That's uh, like three that times in Van Housen. They're yeah. probably not mostly real people, but they are robots. Yeah. Robots that have typed in your name and followed you. Not bots, robots. Yes. Like oh, robots. giant metal contraptions with the blinking lights. Like the Terminator or C3PO. If I was followed by three C3PO, that would actually be exciting. I would probably That's the new goal. Favorite. You must get followed by the official verified C3PO account. I'm sure there's that there probably, probably is one. one. There probably like is. There's probably a Darth Vader. They could follow you as well. <laughs> you are Darth Vader, yes. I am. You can there's a, a sticker. I made a sticker. There you want me to plug some merchandise? There's a Darth Vader Darth Vader sticker. Yes. I fucked it up. Messed it ah! up. Oh! <laughs> I'm on Dan Housen's channel. Oh, you did so well. Ah. Out of here. Good night.